Hello, thank you for your interest in becoming and honoring the Land Trail Ambassador with Grand Staircase Escalante Partners. This course covers all the details and requirements for the Trail Ambassador program. This training video is part one of four parts and will be used to introduce you to the Trail Ambassador program and how to sign up to be a Trail Ambassador. In this online training, you will learn about the Trail Ambassador program, which is part one, being prepared for field days and safety, which is part two, the educational content covered by Trail Ambassadors, part three, and tactics to use when interacting with strangers, which is covered in part four. A transcript of this training is available at bit.ly slash Trail Ambassador 1. All links and contact information for the Trail Ambassador training is available in the YouTube video notes and on our website at gsenm.org slash volunteer. This training is accompanied by a Google form that contains some questions that will help us gauge your understanding of the material and your preferences as a trail ambassador, like your availability and preferred areas to volunteer. You must complete this Google form to become a trail ambassador. Once the form is submitted, GSEP staff will reach out to you about next steps. You can find the Google form at bit.ly slash new trail ambassador form and at our website at gsenm.org slash volunteer. All of the information in this training program, along with some other details about the Trail Ambassador program, can be found in the Trail Ambassador Handbook, which can be found at bit.ly slash Trail Ambassador Handbook. We recommend that all Trail Ambassadors read through this handbook before going out on their first field day as an ambassador. We will also include a copy of the handbook with your field day packet, which will include all other Trail Ambassador educational and guide materials. In your role as a Trail Ambassador, your primary point of contact for questions, comments, and concerns is myself, Caitlin Martin, GSEP's Education and Stewardship Coordinator. I am the liaison between BLM staff and the Trail Ambassador volunteers and I'm located on the north side of the monument in Escalante. You can contact me via email at caitlin at gsenm.org and by phone at 406-431-0218. We recommend pausing the video now and putting this contact information into your phone before moving on to the next training. Grand Staircase Escalante Partners is the main entity that runs the Honoring the Land Trail Ambassador Program for Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument. Grand Staircase Escalante Partners, also referred to as GSEP, is a nonprofit organization whose mission is to honor the past and safeguard the future of Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument through science, conservation, and education. You can learn more about partners at gsenm.org. Before we dive into the specifics of the Trail Ambassador program, let's get you some background on why this program exists. Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument is a 1.9 million acre national monument in southwest Utah that is managed by the Bureau of Land Management. The monument was designated by President Bill Clinton in 1996 using the Antiquities Act. This area was designated as a national monument because it presents exemplary opportunities for geologists, paleontologists, archaeologists, historians, and biologists. The monument encompasses a vast, undeveloped expanse of public land filled with deep canyons, rocky mesas, winding rivers, and high plateaus. These areas include incredible biodiversity, important cultural connections, inspiring geological features, an extensive fossil record, and endless opportunities for scientific and personal exploration. Within its 1.9 million acres, Grand Staircase Escalante also provides great opportunities for recreation, including hiking, backpacking, camping, canyoneering, pack rafting, horseback riding, and bike packing. These activities, along with great potential for solitude, bring visitors from all around the world to this monument.
With the increasing popularity of national parks and general outdoor recreation, many public lands in southern Utah and around the U.S. have seen record-breaking visitation within recent years, and Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument is no exception. With the increased visitation, land managers have also seen an increase in visitor-created impacts, including trash, human waste, pet waste, social trail creation, and graffiti. Grand Staircase Escalante Partners created the On Land Trail Ambassador Program to help inform recreationists and other visitors of Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument about how they can reduce their impact on the landscape in an engaging and educational manner. We hope that these interactions with, will help lessen visitor impacts and create a community of informed stewards that care for this amazing landscape. Trail Ambassador volunteers are representatives of Grand Staircase Esquilani Partners and the Bureau of Land Management, or BLM. Once fully trained, Trail Ambassadors can either work independently with GSEP staff or with other volunteers. Volunteers of all ages and abilities are welcome, but those that are under 18 must be accompanied by an adult. Trail Ambassador opportunities come in two flavors, setting up at a trailhead or hiking along a trail, both of which are important strategies for reaching visitors. Ambassadors can select either or both of these types of visitor engagement when signing up for Ambassador Days. Ambassadors should plan on being able to volunteer for this program at least four times during the year, which usually will be full days, about four to six hours of work per day. This can be scattered throughout the year or consolidated into one busy weekend. For those who would like to work at a station set up at popular trailheads during busy weekends, responsibilities include informing visitors of ways they can honor the land and reduce their impact in a friendly and educational manner, assisting visitors with hiking and area information, directing people to water access, and handing out electrolytes and occasionally other impact minimizing supplies like dog waste bags and wag bags, and keeping track of of the number of visitors encountered, number of interpretive interactions had, and other relevant information. For those who would like to hike the trails, responsibilities include picking up trash, remediating social trail creation, providing information about the area to other hikers, and noting locations on trails that need further attention, informing visitors of ways they can honor the land and reduce their impact in a friendly and educational manner, checking highly visible archaeological sites along popular trails and other sensitive areas along the trail for any damage to report it to BLM staff, and keeping track of the number of visitors encountered, number of interpretive contacts made, and other relevant information. Trail Ambassador work is a unique subset of GSEP volunteer programs and has some special requirements and skills that participants should possess. These include the ability to volunteer as a trail ambassador at least four times per year, the ability to work independently with little or no supervision, a desire to serve visitors and provide accurate information, the ability to learn quickly and retain basic knowledge, oral communication skills, and ability to engage in tactful discussion of respectful visitation practices, the ability to maintain a positive attitude and be consistently courteous and polite to visitors with a variety of backgrounds and ages, a willingness to learn about Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument, including its flora, fauna, and cultural resources, and the physical strength and stamina to hike over uneven rocky terrain, carrying personal water and supplies if serving as an ambassador via hiking the trails. The main areas that trail ambassadors will do their work are Lower Calf Creek Falls, Upper Calf Creek Falls, Escalante River Trailhead near town, the Escalante River Trailhead near the bridge, Willis Creek, Coyote Gulch, Peekaboo and Spooky, the Toadstools, Devil's Garden, Neon Canyon, Boulder Mill Trail, and Zebra Slot Canyon. We work with, the BL with BLM staff to identify the most important areas to dispatch trail ambassadors. These locations and the frequency of volunteering at them may vary 
based on season, day of the week or holiday, and visitation patterns. To become a Trail Ambassador, volunteers will need to create an account for GSAS Volunteer Management System, Golden, which you likely have already completed if you're accessing this training. After you have watched each video of this training, you should fill out the Google form asking about your abilities and interests, which can be found at this web address, bit.ly slash new trail ambassador form. Once the form is submitted, volunteers will be contacted by GSEP staff to schedule their first field day, during which they will be accompanied by a staff person and will count as one of the four required trail ambassador field days. Upon completing the online training and initial field day, you will receive an invite to a private volunteer group on the Golden site, which will enable you to view and sign up for upcoming field day opportunities. Your membership to this group also enables us to send direct communications to trail ambassadors about upcoming opportunities. As a side note, all of GSA's volunteer activities can be found on our Golden site at this web address, bit.ly slash volunteer with GSEP. Many of these opportunities are open to everyone and do not require prior training. Feel free to sign up for these other volunteer opportunities anytime. Thank you for watching the first part of the Trail Ambassador training. Please answer the few questions that follow this video, then go on to part two. This is also a good time to pause and save all relevant contact information in your phone.